one of the most exciting things about doing paleo art is not the known, but the unknown. And it's about exploring ideas and concepts and speculations about um, what that past could look like. Because we, we don't know and we will never know. I've been working on the Triceratops project for Museums Victoria. I don't know if you can ever really make sure your art is 100% scientifically accurate because I'll start a sculpture and by the time it's finished there's something new about it that we, we know. You can use comparative anatomy to try and construct what the muscles would have been like on an extinct animal like Triceratops. My work for the Melbourne Museum provided for me a paleo brief. So I would take that and I would create a black and white composition, it's just shades of gray. So anywhere from black to white and all the shades of gray in between, just to make sure that even in black and white, it still reads as what it is supposed to be. And then I would show that to them and they would say, okay, great. Or they would sometimes say, hey, let's make these changes. I started with a lot of the skeletal information and I would start pretty much adding digital clay you know, constantly getting feedback from, from the team as I was going. It's sort of this process of steps. So it would always be like something very quick and sketchy to start, and then it kind of evolves. I approach my paleo art in a little bit of a different sense where a lot of people start with the animal and many times I will start with the environment. It's very interesting to learn that there's a lot of trees and plants that are still around that or in your neighborhood. A lot of the time, paleo art and dinosaurs in general are an entryway for both the general public to be introduced to a lot of scientific ideas. Being as accurate as possible, we can really show them that these really did exist and they, they were just as real as, as any other animal. I remember being at an art show and I had prints of my work and this nine-year-old boy came up to my table and he was like, finally, scientifically accurate dinosaurs. So I was like, yes, thank you. I felt uh, very justified by this, uh, this nine-year-old kid.